Hello, ladies and gentlemen. Today it is time for some more lazy gaming, but this time it's more just relaxed gaming. Basically, there's this game on Steam at the moment called Floating Point, and it's a free to play game, so anybody can pick it up. It's by the guy who made Gunpoint, a wonderful game, and basically, it's just a game where you go around and, well, just relax the senses. <laughs> you have these uh, boxes, as you can see, that you can grab onto. Uh, and basically, it's kind of a momentum game in a way. And your, your idea is to collect these bars. But, you know, you don't have to. If you don't want to, you can just swing around and have some fun. Or just do some loops. Basically, if you hit these boxes, these bars get shorter, so it's hard to hit them. That's how that works. And because I haven't hit a box in a while, that's why these bars are really big. So basically, you want to... Uh, what's the word? You want to not hit the blocks. It encourages you not to, because it makes the game a lot easier. But as you can see, the music is wonderful. It's so nice, and I don't know, it's like, it, when you're in the water, obviously the effect of the water, and you can also zoom in and zoom out so I can see where I need to go, but in the water, the uh, it, it has that effect on sound, which it does in real life, uh, I don't really know what it's called, but it's, it's absolutely amazing, <laughs> and it's really nice, but as you can see, as I'm hitting these blocks, those uh, things I have to hit to progress to the next level is uh, they get shorter. But basically, I'm not sure if it's pr procedurally generated, like each level. I'm not sure if there's a rhyme or reason to it. But the thing is, it's a free-to-play game. It's, well, free-to-play. It is a free game. <laughs> it's as simple as that. So why not pick it up? I mean, there's nothing stopping you. And after playing some you know, stressful games. I mean, I'm into RTSs and stuff like that, and they can be very stressful. I mean, uh, just look at StarCraft 2. Just every so often it can really get on your nerves. And then, if you don't want to play any for a while, just crack out this boy for 20 minutes or so. It's just... Oh, it's peaceful. <laughs> this game is wonderful, and it's... One of the only games which actually gets momentum right in water and in the, well, the atmosphere, I suppose, the air. And it's just so soothing. Like, I love being in the water just because of the music change. I think it's it's very relaxing. It's I wouldn't actually mind just listening to this music, uh, maybe when I was going to sleep or something like that. But I basically picked up this game because it was free and... I really liked Gunpoint, so I really enjoyed what the dev had done before. And there is no reason not to pick this up. I mean, it's very small. I believe it was 60 megabytes or something. So why not just pick it up? I mean, if you don't like it, just play it, play it once. And that's all you have to do. But I like the fact how when you go into the water, basically, it's trying to push you upwards. And when you're in the, uh, well, the air, I suppose you could call it, it's trying to push you down. So there's quite kind of like the equilibrium point at the uh, center, kind of like the equator. So it seems like there's only one beam to get. Now, I'm guessing you could take this game super seriously and try and speed run the damn thing, but screw that. I'm here to have fun, I'm here to relax. I'm here to just... swing the balls. Oh! <laughs> but basically how this works is it's left click to uh, hit, like make the string. And then it is right click to let go. You can also hold left click to basically make the string shorter and pull on the ball to make it go faster and stuff like that. Or you can not do that if you don't feel like it. <laughs> now let's see if we can go there. We might have to go around and oh, wonderful. 
And as we can see, let's go to the next level. And there's the next level. No loading times, no nothing. Just simple bliss. And some very good music. Maybe some people would think it's repetitive, but I like this style of music, so I don't really mind. After playing a game of War Thunder for a while, uh, it's very nice just to crack this out, open it up, and just go around like this. It may be a game if you've had a stressful day at work. You just come home, play a few levels of this, and it'll, you know, it'll give you your fill of gaming. It will make you understand how momentum works, which is always good. Learning for the masses. And it will also just soothe your mind, which is basically what I've been using it for. But yeah, it's an interesting little game. I thought I'd show it to you. There will be a link for it in the description, of course. So you can check it out for yourselves, and I would strongly recommend it. It is just lovely. And the fact that it's free means there is no, you know, there's no uh, entry barrier or anything like that. A free game is always good on Steam. So, just press X and here's the developer if you want to know about it. Tom Francis and the music is by Form and Shape. And all of the links are here if you want to go and see stuff. But anyway, thank you for watching. And have a great day. Thank you.